Okay, folks. Well, now that we have the bridge that's passable, I'm not going to do a whole lot more to it right away. I want to get this mill covered. Now, I put some rough blocks here where I want them set down over there. The building is going to be 24 feet wide by about 32 long, maybe a little longer, but I'm going to go 24 by 32 for now. The reason I want it 24 <clears throat> is so I can bring in my load of logs this way. Instead of bringing it out here and trying to roll it in, I want to be able to bring my logs underneath the roof and then roll it onto the deck and across. So that's why I want it 24 this way. Now, uh, that seems like it won't be too bad, so I can drive in. The roof will be shaped like this, like this. So I'll drive in the end, unload my logs, and drive out the other side. That's how I want it. And when you drive in this way, it takes less room, I believe, than parking on the outside and having to try to roll your logs in through. Then you have to leave a huge space. Where driving in this way, I only have to leave the width of my widest trailer going through there. That's all. And a spot wide enough to get the tractor in if I ever have to pick the logs up and set them on the deck. So that's my thought for the building. Now some of you may not agree, some of you will see where I'm going with this, but I know what size logs I'm going to be hauling mostly. And I'm making it 32 feet long too so I can put a 10 foot extension or so, six foot, actually probably a six foot extension because I can cut 14 right now. So if I cut 20, that's probably the longest log I'll ever want to cut is a 20 footer and I won't be cutting most, I won't be cutting a lot of those. Anyways, I'm not going to use my laser level just like the bridge. I'm not going to use any of that fancy stuff. I'm just going to get a rough grade, cut my timbers. Now my timbers for the base is going to be 12 foot long and I'm going to put two of them end to end like I did on the house. That's how I'm going to do it. If it settles, so be it, whatever. Anyways, I just want to get this under a good roof before the snow comes so we can cut all winter. Anyways, you folks, I really appreciate the good comments on that bridge. Thanks very much. I, uh, you know, I, I worked on the road construction before a little bit. I'm not an expert by any means. I'm not an expert on anything. I'm just stumbling through this the same as just a regular Joe would. <laughs> but I got lucky again. Anyways, I'm going to get that dozer over here and I'm going to get to this. Okay, so we'll see if this dozer starts. I haven't had it running in a in a, a day or so. Yesterday, I guess. The last time I had it running was yesterday morning. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. I did check the oil and everything in it already this morning. The gas is already turned on. I got it all ready for you folks. Even have my bottle of water here with me. So we'll see how it see how it cold starts. It's not good when the battery cable's loose. That's something I want to remedy too later. Choke on a little bit here. I like to turn gradual so I don't tear up the yard any more than it is for up. Wide turns, my friends, wide turns. Pretty, pretty uh, good browsers on the tracks of this. That would have just tore my bridge up like crazy uh, trying to turn it on there. some of these little blocks out of the way. I have that one standing. That's kind of just my, my outline where the building is going to go. It's not going to be perfect. I'm not going to get out of laser level. I'm not, you know, I'm not getting fancy. I want it done. Just like the bridge. I didn't want it fancy, I just wanted it usable. Get 
rid of this one. I gotta leave that other one there though, because that's part of my marker. I'm gonna take it and put it with the rest right here. Just bunch them up together. I'm gonna send them off over here and put them in the pile here. I'll get them later if I need. There. Good enough. Well, I missed the one there, but that's okay. I'll get it right now here. There we go. Scrape that piece up there and I'll try not to get out the ground too much. I think I just lost it, didn't I? It'd be easier just to grab and throw it out of the way, but hey. A little practice on a dozer, it never hurts anybody. Okay, I'll roll that out there. There we go. There you go. I'm gonna scrape some of this out of the way as well. to get that camera set up a little better. I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna gather this up. And then we're probably gonna stop for some breakfast and uh, charge the camera battery. One thing I like about this dozer too is it's a foot throttle. So, I mean, it also has the, the throttle on the dash, but it's not hooked up. I probably never will hook it up. The foot throttle I like because you know, if I take my foot off throttle, it just does this. And it still has enough power to go off I'm not pushing anything heavy, which is good. This way when I push in on the clutch, it's like a car, I automatically take my foot off the throttle as well. So that way I'm not over revving it when I push in on the clutch and it's under a hard load. that up neatly. I won't even touch the camera. Good enough. Let me pile up neatly with the rest of them. I'm going to take these two as well and pile them over there. Without scraping the ground too much if I can. and let the sand filter out the bottom. Now I know there's a hump right here. I'm gonna get rid of that right away. I don't give it a lot of throttle because it is a pretty light little unit. 
light there. It hardly even gouges its, uh, gouges its uh, packed sand. We got this finished today, leveled off a bit, smoothed off I should say, and then the battery went dead.